Hello and welcome to another special video review and today I'm reviewing the Zhang Zhangjiang Dinosaur King D01 which is a, a repaint and totally oversized version of the Warbatron Grimlock that came out when you um, I think when you ordered the, the whole uh, uh, Computron from Warbatron they gave uh, they, they sell they sold separately a uh, a built yourself the Grimlock, which is actually pretty nice, and I actually own it. And uh, the Zhang Zhang company uh, created a, an oversized version of it, already built, uh, totally repaint in the chrome, in the silver and gold, which is actually pretty damn nice. And uh, yeah, so here's the box. Uh, not much to it. We can see behind the dinosaur mode and Grimlock, and that's pretty much it. Uh, legal stuff in underneath. It's all in Chinese, so I don't know. And let's open the box. And nothing inside, so. So first we have the instructions, which are okay at best. I don't have any problems with it. <laughs> it's just a single sheet of paper placing two with some screen arts in the back. Some more detailed stuff, and yeah. And here we have the Grimlock, which is actually pretty damn cool. Let's open that up. All right. Let's check out the accessories first. Uh, he's got a crown from the um, crown. Uh, I don't know. Actually, it doesn't. It just a new crown that fits his head. It's nothing special. Just plastic with golden detail paint. Oh, can we focus? Yeah. So it's a nice crown. It doesn't fit quite good on its head, but yeah. Here we have the pistol, which is a green translucent plastic. It's kind of odd, but yeah. And we have a sword, which only the handle is like green translucent. The rest is, the blade is all plastic red, which is kind of nice anyway. And we have the main course right here, Grimlock. Let's head inside. And can we? Let's just move the camera a little bit down. Focus. Wink, wink, wink. So here we have Grimlock, and he's actually pretty damn cool. Yeah, so like I said, it was uh, originally built by uh, Warbatron, which was a built-yourself uh, Grimlock, a tiny little figure, which is pretty damn awesome. And Wei Zhang Yang company just knock it off and made it a better paint job and made it oversized. So yeah, when you buy it, uh, actually first uh, the um, translucent green plate on his chest is separated. That's because they want you to input your own uh, little uh, the uh, faction symbol on it. And it's actually pretty damn good because once you place the plastic uh, chest plate, it's not coming off. It's so super tight. So yeah, so here's some details. The head. Alright, so the head is on a swivel up and down. It does move left and right, but it's super tight and I'm afraid to break it. <laughs> The arms are on a ball joint. Uh, the elbow are also on a ball joint. There's nothing. Oh yeah, there's rotation in the wrist. Actually, that's something new that the original one doesn't have. The uh, Warbatron one. Uh, there's a uh, waist rotation. The uh, ties are on a ball joint and a swivel. The knee bends more than 90 degrees. And the foot is on a small ball joint that goes side to side like this and front to back. But that's for transformation. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. If you want to see the original one, as for a size comparison, here's the original Warbatron one, which is actually pretty damn small. As for the actual size, he's pretty much side by side with the uh, War for Cybertron. Uh, yeah, the Voyager size. 
And if you want to see with the masterpiece one, actually stands. <laughs> They make a great team. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's put Masterpiece aside, Warbertron aside, and Cybertron aside. Alright. That's for the accessories. Well, this crown, like I said, you can put the crown on it. It fits, but it doesn't clip on, and yeah, it falls. It, it falls easily. But, uh, it's there, it works, it's cool, it's fine, it's no problem. <laughs> As for your weapons, well, he does hold them perfectly fine. It's a tight fit, it fits well, there's nothing to say about it. So, uh, this pistol. Oh yeah, it's actually good to go, I'm good. Alright. As for transformation, I'm gonna do it real quick. I've already uh, reviewed the uh, Warbertron figure, so if you want a more in-depth review of it, I invite you to go see the uh, Warbertron figure of it. But yeah, actually the, the transformation is exactly the same. It's quite good. I love it. Simple, elegant. So yeah, first, just flip the fists inside the hands and then push the arms in. Like so. Same thing for the other side. Rotate, clip, straighten up, and push in. Next up, you want to unpeg the shoulders, the black part. You unpeg it like this. And you rotate it front and you peg it in. There's another peg hole right here in the, under the armpit. And you plug it in, like this. Same thing for the other side. Unpeg. Rotate down and plug back in. It's super tight and it's really nice. Next up, you want to raise the head a little bit and unpeg the backpack and raise it up and bring the arms in like this and clip. Next up, there's a peg hole in the neck right here and there's a peg hole inside of the uh, Dinobot head and it clips in and it holds perfectly. So now we're left with a weird girl walk bow. <laughs> As for the legs, you want to come right here, open up the side panels, and as you open it up, uh, flip the, the foot straight like this. As you open it up, you pivot the tail out and you move the leg in like this. And you close it back like this. Now bring the tip of the tail out. There's actually a tiny tab on the tail right here, which really helps moving the tail, which is actually really nice. So same thing for the other foot. You move the tail up, bring the foot down, flip this down, rotate the whole leg in, and continue to move the tail out as you close it back in, like this. Again, bring the tail out, the tiny tail at the tip. You can then plug the whole thing. There's some tiny tabs inside of the, uh, the tail that fits in like this. Then you peg the legs in like this. And, whoop, move the camera a little bit. Inside of the foot right here, there's a tiny peg right here. That pegs inside of the back, there's a, another peg hole that fits in like this. So, same thing for the other side. And it's pretty much done. We have the dino butt mode done. And he's actually really freaking cool. We have the head that is articulated, moves up and down. So yeah, the head moves up and down. The mouth does open. There's also a, an articulated cannon inside of the town. You can move up and down, which is actually pretty damn cool. The arms are on a ball joint at the shoulder. And there's also a tight swivel at the arm, so they can move straight up. The, nothing at the fingers though. So only the shoulder does straighten up. 
It's a really freaking tight joint. I believe it's because of the uh, silver paint that makes the joint so tight. But it's really good. You know, it's, it holds. I love tight joint. And as long as it doesn't feel like I'm going to break it. <laughs> the legs are also on a big ball joint. So they can move side to side. The legs does pivot. There is a weird bending knee. But that's due to the uh, transformation. The toes are, set, are, are uh, independent, and the back toe doesn't move at all un unless you want to push it out, which is for transformation. So there we have Grimlock. Of course, underneath there's robot cable, but it comes from a tiny figure, so a legend size figure, but yeah, the big one hasn't improved that much, but it's a really great figure. As for uh, the crown, uh, there is no place, to, there's no no way to place it in robot mode, obviously. As for the cannon, you can actually peg the cannon. Oops. Ah! I dropped it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. So for the cannon, you can actually peg it on the backpack. It holds really good. And as for the sword, there is actually the uh, square peg right here you just slide it between the foot and it doesn't hold <laughs> on the uh, original one okay it holds on the original uh, Warbertron one the sword holds much better now it's just like fr friction joint by between the, the feet so it holds a lot but it's only because of the uh, the pressure of both feet on it but it's some storm storage for the weapons, and I dig that. So yeah, this is the Grimlock for uh, the Zhang Zian Dinosaur King Dio One. I don't know if they're gonna make any more figures. I hope so, because it's actually awesome. Even though it's a uh, oversight knockoff, it's really good. And yeah, I'll, I'll actually, I, I, I'm the one who put the uh, the stickers in, so. Yours won't have. There was the uh, imprint of a uh, faction symbol on it, just the uh, silhouette. So I just placed it, the uh, Autobot logo, cut it in half, and yeah. So yeah, like I said, it's awesome figure. I think it sells for like thirty bucks on SirToys.com uh, and other sellers, and it's actually pretty damn sweet. The plastic quality, it doesn't feel cheap. Or that cheap, you know, it, it's quite solid. You know, you could just give this toy at any kid, and he would have fun, and it it won't break unless you force it, maybe, or just throws it like four stories down or stuff like that. <laughs> but it's actually a pretty damn cool figure. The plastic feels great, great quality, and awesome figure. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>